okay yes so there's always a first time and yes this is my first time on my instagram live and i'm so happy okay i was um going through um, um the lord laid it on my heart to just to do this today i did my reel today as well and this is so interesting so i'm coming on just to to share um just few tips this time is not healthy lifestyle but it is in the end going to lead us even into a healthy life lifestyle yes so um okay i was reading habakkuk now i don't know how many of us um follow this you version apps so it's always life transforming for me and you know today i i we're reading on habakkuk 3 and 17 and 18. so yesterday some things happened to me and you know when, when you think that you have put so much effort in a lot of things, you know, I, I, I sat there since 8 a.m. in the morning. I was actually trying to walk. Uh, I was doing some readings. Um, I, I have some e exams ahead of me. And um, I was also at the same time doing a presentation. So I was working on it on, on slides and I done like over 30 pages. So I just... Um, called on my husband to look at some things for me and before i knew what was up the whole thing had been deleted wow at that point in time just imagine that was some eight hours work and for me at that point a lot of adrenaline gushed all over me and for me it was a moment of what do I do? I was even trying to stay calm. You know that thing that we preach many times is always easier said than done. When it comes to action, sometimes it takes a whole lot. So this morning, as I was reading Habakkuk 3.17, it was telling me that though, though some natural things, natural things that are meant to happen might not even happen. Hey, you know, when I got to that part, hey, in my mind, I was like, okay. He said, fig trees may not grow fi figs. How, how even possible is that? But it, it, it might get to a time in life that, oh, yes, I've put in a lot of effort. Oh, I've done this. And it's bound to just happen. Guess what? Sometimes it might not happen. He says, there may not be grapes in the vine. Uh -uh. Okay. So how do you expect that farmer to feel at that point in time? So it's saying that there may not be olives growing on the trees, on a tree of olive or on a tree of olive far, there may not be. As a woman, and I have womb, I might not be able to bring forth a baby. You know, so many things. Oh, yes, I've, I've, I've read books. I have BSc. I have MSc. And yet I'm not able to seemingly be productive. Oh, yes, those are the moments where the olives are not bringing forth grapes and guess what there may not be food growing on the fields on a field that you have planted cassava planted cocoa planted and um, rice planted all grains all fruits all vegetables you might be there saying oh i've put on all effort i've done everything possible and guess what it's not coming it's not coming it's not showing forth and guess what frustration wants to come in yes you have you have done your presentation 37 pages of your uh, presentation yes yes and then something happens and everything got deleted wow so it says there may no be sheep in the pens there may no be cattle in the barn it says there may no be but but yes you have put in all of this effort oh you have tried um keto diet you have tried um local you have tried um um atkins you have tried paleo you have tried no oil like me at the point i was doing oilless my food was terrible yet there's no there's no results he says in all of these it's only natural for humans to give up and say throw in the towel but guess what he says in verse 18, Habakkuk 3, 17 and 18, that despite all of these odds, he says, but I will be glad in the Lord. I will rejoice in the God of my, what a counterintuitiveness. Very, very counter. Like 
when the, it comes to some people naturally that when things are not going right you just see them um containing their, their emotions it's not for everybody but guess what we can do it the father if you read further it says because it's god that gives me my strength it's yours but it's given on god so my message today let me quickly go because i i, I see people joining me yay, yay. <laughs> okay so when we totally trust god it takes over initially it will be like oh i can't do this i can't do this so yesterday i really really went off balance when all my presentations just went off deleted totally i was using canva i tried i went online to try to retrieve it but guess what i didn't really manage the situation perfectly well i admit i was i was not i was i was just like don't don't just don't apologize don't tell me anything just let me be just let me be just let me be i want he said just it told me he said go and sit down and relax i said no 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 i have to do, you know it wasn't funny for me at all but i later when i sat down i still did the 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 work that took me eight hours i did it in less than two hours when i later sat down to think about it and that is the point of all still rejoicing no matter what we're going through so we see people we see people lose things and they're still calm i can't get over my head there was a plane crash that happened years ago and this woman had four children. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And, and she had four children and they all died. And by the time I saw her talking, it was as if nothing happened. We've seen other cases of people. It says, but yet I will rejoice. He says, but I will be glad in the Lord. I will rejoice in him. Okay, it looks like it's easier said than done, but we can make this our default. So whatever happens to us today, ladies, guys, gentlemen, moms, dad, yes. So you can't choose because happiness is a choice and being joyful is a greater choice. I can wake up this morning and say, okay, I choose to be glad regardless. I choose to be happy. I choose not to worry. I choose to be happy. And people will be like, oh, are you not the one that didn't get the contract? Are you not the one that didn't get that job? I choose to be happy. Thank you, Esther. Thank you so much. So that's for you. In case you have not done life. This is me doing my life on Instagram. I've been doing live on my Facebook group. But this is me doing my life on Instagram. Please, so you can do it and tag me. I love you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Stay blessed. Remain blessed as mothers. So it's still the Mother's Week. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Week. Enjoy. Treat yourself. I love you. Stay glad. Be glad. God bless us all. Bye.